This is a video response to Old Gray Wolf 58 about his recent mudroom rant, which uh, was about the um, the link to uh, Obama proposing to cut Medicare and, and Medicaid in order to uh, reach a more balanced budget. I assume I haven't at the time of this recording. I haven't I haven't reviewed the particular article. Um, but it made me think of, of something, a video that someone shared with me, um, and I'll provide a link to that below, and in that particular video, uh, the person who is, uh, who's an experienced public official pointed out that the whole, the whole debt ceiling and the purpose behind the debt ceiling really didn't matter and it only served to to take away from the poor like let's just blame the poor like all of a sudden all of a sudden this debt ceiling matters you know they've, they've never ever ever had trouble raising it they've never had trouble passing legislation that exceeded it ever and then all of a sudden now it's a big issue now now all of a sudden there's there's a fiscal responsibility in um, in the particular video, the person just points out that you know it, it's just an opportunity to to blame the poor, to blame someone else, while you have a a three trillion dollar military operation going on. You know, it, let's not look at let's not look at, at what's costing us three trillion dollars a year. Let's let's look at. Uh, Let's look at, at what's costing us uh, $500 billion or whatever. I mean, true, Medicare is a very high expense. But let me just tell you something. Not you, and I'm sure you understand this, but let me tell anyone, anyone who's watching this that may not already know it. There will come a day when you are no longer able to provide for yourself. There, there may come a day where you may not be able to see to your own medical needs. What's going to happen then? Are you to just die? The idea is you take care of your brother up until that day when your brother needs to take care of you or your brother's son or your own son. Now I understand it's a, it's a slippery slope to talk about such things. But in the case of, of Medicare and Social Security, these are programs that, that those of us who work are actually paying into. We actually do have a, a, an interest stake to it. It wasn't, just, it wasn't just free money. The recipients of Social Security, by and large, are not just getting money that they haven't put into. Now, in, um, in response to the other question, um, or what I saw as a question was, uh, what what did we feel about should uh, should hospital administrators be business people who who watch the dollar? Um, in many cases, believe it or not, they are. Um, my uh, somebody very close to me is a is a facility administrator administrator of a small unit, and. Um, you know, they watch the hours that the people work versus the money that they're paid. And, um, you know, the, the compensation for those top administrators is high. But, uh, you know, they, they do put the hours in. So there's kind of an argument on both sides. Like, is it is it particularly fair that a hospital administrator should make a uh, six-figure income? But, uh, you know, when you're, when you're working a, a 60-hour work week, then... Um, and then managing spreadsheets and and managing a, a budget, which is a very a very organic process, believe it or not. Because you'll have you'll have some insurance companies that are able to cover the whole bill. You're going to have others that don't cover enough, so you have to take from the ones that do cover. And then somewhere in the middle ground, you have people that just don't pay at all, or you have uh, or you have government entities that that take three months to pay for services rendered. It's uh. It can be a pretty, pretty trying, uh, trying position. I don't, I don't think it's, it's oh so simple. Um, 
course, my opinion's a bit biased, <laughs> being the being the family member is the one that does it. But but I do get a chance to see the work that goes into it, and it isn't. Uh, and in, in this particular case, it isn't about just wearing some fancy clothes and showing up to a meeting every once in a while and saying yeah or nay. I mean, we're talking coming home, getting phone calls all hours of the night, you know, things like that. Uh, yeah. Not sure what what else to really add to it at this point because I think I think there's uh, there's several several issues afoot. But in honor of this being part of a mudroom rant, I gotta say, if if this whole thing about the debt ceiling is just to push some sort of a <laughs> bullshit healthcare reform agenda, 